Okay, hello everyone. Uh, let's get started. So in today's video, we'll talk about uh, extremely important concept uh, in OOP languages uh, and in Java in particular. Uh, we'll talk about uh, method overloading. Yeah, so what is that? How we can use that, and so on. Uh, so in the previous video, just a reminder, we talked about how we can uh, access uh, class variables without using them directly. Yeah? So we make uh, class variables private and manipulate them using special methods called getter and setters. Yeah? So if you haven't seen that video yet, um, or just the right time to watch it. So the link should appear on the top right corner. Uh, and we start with uh, method overloading. Uh, so let's create a new class. Let's call it uh, demo class. Let's also generate uh, main method. Okay. And so uh, what is method overloading? Uh, so simply speaking, that the way how we can use uh, the same method name but uh, with different parameters and depending on input parameters java will know which implementation of method to use uh, so i'll just give you an example uh, so let's create uh, another class let's call it printer printer okay and uh, let's let's define uh, let's define a method print okay without any parameters and here we just print one no parameters provided for example okay okay and now let's create a, uh, not create but let's use a, our class printer and let's call a method print huh? okay okay so printer Don't print, okay, let's oh, okay. Okay, let's yeah, let's create a new variable. Printer 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 new printer. Okay. And now printer print. Okay, uh, let's launch it. Okay, yeah, so we call that math uh, print from our class printer and we just output it. Okay, fine. But uh, now let's imagine that we want to use the same method name print to uh, print something what we provide as a parameter for example printer uh, print and let's submit a string string type input parameter so as you see right now we have it underlined because we don't have any implementation Okay, and one of the possible fixes is to create that uh, method. If we click here, so as you see, now we have a new method being generated with the same name as print, like here, but now with a parameter. Yeah, and let's now give it implementation which would be string yeah so 
the name of the input parameter string and we just return string. Okay, let's save, execute. Okay, and as you see now, we have two methods print. One is without any parameters and another one with a parameter string. And that's actually is method overloading. So depending on the input uh, parameter, Java decides which of the methods with the same name print to use, right? We can uh, also create another, uh, let's say double or int uh, print, okay? Um, um, okay, let's call it input, okay? And let's print it out. Let's call it input integer, input int input int okay so now we have added a new realization of our method print which allows us to print an integer right printer and as you see now we have to uh, we can choose from three different realizations of the same method print so print without any parameters um, print with int type parameter and int with string type parameter. So if, for example, want to print three and we have three. Yeah, and that's actually what we called uh, method overloading. Yeah? So once again, what is that? So we, have, we can have multiple methods defined in the same class with the same name. Like in our example, it's print. Yeah? And depending on the input parameters we provide, yeah, whether in our case it's nothing, it's string type or it's int type, Java will know which method to use in that particular case. Yeah? So, which is uh, very convenient. And if we um, step back a bit yeah, we can actually see that uh, method overloading we saw uh, we saw then we talked about classes and about classes constructors yeah because we had uh, multiple constructors uh, one without any parameters some with uh, sides parameters and that was actually method overloading yeah which is very commonly used in Java and in all other uh, OOP languages. Okay, okay and that uh, would be all for today. Just to give you a short overview of what is a method overloading. Yeah, we'll talk about that in more details uh, later when we'll design our classes. Yeah? Uh, but that's all for today. Thanks to all for watching. If you still have some questions, something is not clear, uh, just drop a comment under the video. I will assist you. Also, don't forget to subscribe to you to this YouTube channel if you haven't done that yet. Yeah, you can press like if you really like that video. And don't forget also to visit website blog.dataguru.guide where you will find a post related to that video. So basically the same info but in written form. Yeah? So if you prefer reading, not watching, that's a good choice for you. Other than that, once again, thanks to all for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.